Hi, Jurassic Cuties. Winnie here. Today we're gonna draw the words "Merry Christmas." So let's get started. To draw these cute letters to celebrate Christmas, let's first start by drawing the C for Christmas. So I'm gonna come right here and draw basically a uh, Christmas ornament. So let's start with a circle. And the reason I'm starting with the word Christmas is because um, it's a little bit more complicated, the word Christmas here, because I'm using a bunch of different things to create the word. And so I'm not really too sure how long Christmas, the word Christmas is going to be. And I want the word Mary to be nicely centered. So that's why I'm starting with the word Christmas first. So now that I have a big circle in, I'm going to tilt the ornament at an angle. So right about here, I'm gonna draw a little angle for the top of our ornament. And then right here, just draw a little loop. So then let's come in here and we're going to draw a letter C. So I'm just gonna make it like a bubble letter. So let's say about right here. Whatever is easiest for you to create your letters. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the letter C. Then from there we have the word, um, the letter H. So I'm gonna come about right here next to it. And I'm kind of joining everything together because I don't want the work to be too long. So just go wherever I can, I'm just gonna stick them together. And this is all meant to be really fun. So don't even worry about, there's not even any um, specific font or anything like that. Just create your letters however you like, whatever you wanted to make it. But this is just meant to inspire you. So my H right here is going to be kind of like a little, sh um, cookie so I'll come in here and just go around so I'm not going to have too many explanations of what I'm doing just hopefully you can just follow along and if you like something you just go ahead and follow if not you can just change it up to the way you like it right so now that we have the letter H let's draw R so R is going to be a uh, mitten so I'm going to come right next to this H right here and draw a big curve come down and it's at an angle and right here we're going to draw the thumb area so bring this down and then the wrist area so we're going to go up and then connect it once again and then right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off. Add some lines here so we know that it's a mitten. And then right in here, we can go ahead and write the letter R. So where we have enough room and add an angle. So this was inspired um, by a BT21's uh, Christmas art. If you're wondering where I'm getting this from, it's inspired by some of it's different. I'm changing some of it up, but mostly of it, most of it is uh, inspired by that. So let's come to the eye right here. I'm going to add, I'm going to make mine kind of like a North pole. So right here, I'm going to add an eye with a nice round circle at the top. And right here, I need to add some stripes there. And then we have the letter S. So S, because just gonna stick right next to it. And just basic letter S. Since we have two of them, this one is going to be um, just uh, maybe like a candy cane. Different color, rainbow candy cane, perhaps. And there. Okay, now we have the letter T. So letter T, we're gonna come in here. Once again, just make it a cookie. Maybe like a gingerbread cookie. So let's come in here and draw some frosting to make it look like a cookie there and then the letter M come right next to it and we're just gonna go in out so make sure I'm still going straight level just look at my camera here and also when you're drawing this at home 
to try your best to still make it go all the way straight. So now my M is getting smaller, huh? I'm gonna make a bigger A. Okay, so this one, um, let's also make it a cookie, but let's uh, change it up. Maybe just different sprinkles. There. Okay, so then now we have A. So we need to make it taller because I'm getting kind of small. So I'm gonna come up right here and put a tree, Christmas tree. So just a little, it's at an angle. So come down. Oh, maybe just that's enough. And then we'll bring it in to the center right here and then the trunk area and connect. And then let's write the letter A in here. So if I'm going too fast, definitely just pause the video. So hopefully I'm not I'm going at the right pace for you. And then we can come in here and just draw a little star if you want. <laughs> there. Okay, so then now the last one is an S. So we're just going to stick that S right here. Once again. And pop it in. Okay, so my head's really big right here for the S. Let me bring this down. I'm gonna curve this down a little bit more. Okay, so then with this S, I thought it'd be really cute at the end right here. Just put a little circle for a Rudolph nose, and then you can add some antlers right here. Simple little antlers. <laughs> there. Okay, so we have the word Christmas now, and then, um, that's it, I will hold on. A little detail right here. And then we need to write the word Mary. So with Mary, uh, it's five letters, so it's a little bit easier. We can just start with the center. If you want Mary to be nicely centered, a little trick is to start with the center letter. So let's say about right, right here is going to be our center. So I'm going to come about right here in this area. I'll just go ahead and start. It's not going to be perfect, but it just makes it a little bit more even. So I'm going to start with my letter R right in the middle with a straight line. And at the top right here, I'm going to wobble. So every letter is going to be a wobble at the top. And then we'll go down to create our R. So this, the top part is a little bit more structured. The block fo uh, fonts. So then, right at the top, right here, the reason it's wobbled at the top is because we're trying to create it to look like snow. So I'm gonna come right here and complete our R. So now that we have our R, let's skip a little bit of space, and this is our center. So I'm gonna come to about right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw, leave a little bit of space, and then draw our. E. Well, you know what? Let's go this way, right? So let's draw our E. So I'm going to come right next to it. I'm sorry. I'm hoping I'm not confusing you. I'm just trying my best here. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to wobble the other way <laughs> and then come down. I think it's easier if we do this. So we're going to come down to draw our E. Come down and there's a little bit of wobble here as well down and another wobble and connect. So once again, try to make it look like snow. And then the letter M. So come right next to it. There, and once again, wobble. So I know it's how to draw it backwards, right? You can do it. <laughs> Challenge yourself today. Draw the letters backwards. So right here, about there, and then we're gonna come down. But if you don't care for it to be centered at all, then of course just start with the letters um, just going the right way. So go down, go up.
then connect and once again some snow at the top okay so then now we can go ahead and draw it this way continue Let's make sure I'm still going straight. R and Y. So our last letter is going to end about right here, right? So let's make it nice and wide. So depending on how much space you have left, make your Y either really skinny or really wide. So right here, and come down. Sorry, made my Y a little too wide right there, and then connect. And that is it. So hopefully, like I said, start with the center letter if you want everything to be nicely in the center for Mary, and hopefully that will help this um, drawing for you. And I forgot to put a heart somewhere, right? So where can we put a heart? Um, Oh boy, you know what? I'm just gonna stick a bunch of hearts right here. <laughs> I totally forgot about my hearts. I'll just stick three of them in um, those spaces. And hopefully I've helped you today to draw the words uh, Merry Christmas. And that just helps you with maybe a, a Christmas card for someone you love or just to make a big poster to celebrate. Thanks so much for watching. And if I helped you today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.